Welcome on board P&O Ventura, and in this video I'm going to tour and review my standard balcony cabin. This cabin is A247 on Australia deck, which is deck 12. As you walk into the main space, you can see there's a double bed, which is actually pretty comfortable, and there's two pillows on each side. And when you enter the cabin for the first time, there's a luggage mat placed on the bed. But the side of the bed is a nightstand with two drawers and a fixed lamp on top. And in the centre of the wall behind the bed are two light switches. Which makes far more sense when the cabin is set up as a twin rather than a double. And on the adjacent side of the bed is another nightstand and a lamp. And next to that is the desk. and there's a Bible in the bottom drawer. Here there's a chair and a cupboard and on top of the desk is the Horizon P&O's Daily Planner. There's two UK plug sockets and a phone to call reception, room service or another cabin. Behind that is a US plug socket, so remember to bring in an adapter and this odd light. And there are no USBs anywhere in this cabin, so remember to bring USB plugs. The hairdryer is found in the cupboard below, and there's plenty of storage space in here too. And as I pan round, you notice the TV and the artwork on the wall, and as you can see, it's a decent sized cabin. Although it is a bit dated now, with its wood effect design, and the old or non-existent technology. The teeth is quite small, but then again, I really watch it when I'm cruising. Below this are two glasses and the tea service, which has two mugs, the kettle, and a selection of teas, coffees, milk, and sugar. And occasionally, there'll even be biscuits in here. And tucked behind the kettle, is yet another UK plug socket. Beneath is the fridge, which is a good size, perfect for any drinks you brought on board. It's this small round table and waste paper basket for you to use. And this chair was surprisingly very comfortable. On the wall is the thermostat. The cabin did run a bit warm, so it had to be switched to a low setting. And this is the full length mirror to check yourself out in. On the rear of the cabin door is the safety card, which provides information regarding the emergency signal and the location of your master station. And the do not disturb card is stashed behind these light switches. The area outside the bathroom has a cupboard which has shelves for clothes and a safe. There was plenty of storage in this cabin. The safe is fine for storing personal items but is not quite large enough for a laptop. This wardrobe come dressing area is a feature from the Grand Class Princess ships that Ventura is based on. You can hang jackets, coats and longer clothes here and place your suitcases out of the way below and I miss this on P&O's newer ships. The life jackets are up on the shelves and there's plenty of hangers on the rail below. The first thing to notice in the bathroom is the awful shower curtain, but getting past that, it's a decent sized room. The shower has dispensers of white company body wash and shampoo. But if you do want to bring bottles of your own toiletries, you can put them in this small alcove. The controls are straightforward to use and the shower is pretty powerful. The shower enclosure itself is a really good size and also comes with this handrail. And there's also a line for hanging up wet clothes. There are bath towels which are actually quite fluffy 
the all important loo, and also some hand towels. There are three shelves which are ideal for putting your toiletries in and a shaver point over on the other side of the vanity area, which itself has a large surface area for you to use. And then there's this mixer tap which is above the basin and a bottle of White Company hand wash. And below is the bin, shower mat and some loo rolls. All in all, the bathroom works well, even though it's a bit beige. And what definitely isn't beige is this green balcony flooring. The balcony itself is a really good size with two chairs, two stools and a table. The TV shows the safety video when you enter into the cabin. And once you've watched this, it has a choice of TV channels, films and ship information. I think it'll be quite nostalgic to watch a film on a TV of this size. You can order a free room service continental breakfast by using this rice and dine card and leave it outside of the cabin the night before. You can order fresh juices, yogurt, fruit, cereals and bakery items. And there's nothing better than having a breakfast out on the balcony in the morning. This really is what cruising is all about. There's also the actual room service menu, which offers a selection of baguettes and wraps, hot meals, healthy options, desserts and sweet treats for an additional cost. And you can also order nighttime nibbles and a huge selection of alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. And the prices of which, to be fair to p aren't too unreasonable. Each evening you'll have a copy of the Horizon delivered. This will give you an overview of the following day's plans, along with the times of the various activities, restaurant and bar opening times and general information regarding the cruise. And when I'm sailing on PO, I take a photograph of each page of the horizon so I've got that information with me at all times. And if you're wondering how this room will look if it's set up as a twin rather than a double, I had family members staying next door and this was their configuration. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. I have many more cruise videos to come.